Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to create and share a document using Google Drive. So if you have a Gmail account or a Google account or Google Plus, anything like that, you'll have access to Google Drive, which is a way to share your files, store your files in the cloud, which, is, uh, which means you're actually storing everything on the internet. So if you navigate to drive.google.com, you'll be presented with uh, this screen. And what I can do here is I can create folders and I can create a whole bunch of um, different things, but most importantly, I can create a document. I can also create a presentation or a spreadsheet. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a document here. And what I can do is I can type in here just as I would uh, and then I can do all the things that I need to do. It's, it's very, very similar to Microsoft Word. You've got all of your bold, so I'll just put in a title here. I can bold this, I can center it, I can make the text bigger, I can change the font if I want to. I can do most of the things that I can do in Word. So the difference with this is, um, this isn't a file on your computer, it's actually stored on the internet, so you don't really need to worry about losing it ever. Um, so I'm just going to rename this, and I'm just going to call this test document. And normally I would just go and click file save, but there is no save. And the reason for that is that every change that I make is actually recognized by the Google Drive system and it'll automatically save everything that I do. So if my instructor actually wants a file from me, I can actually go under file here and I can say download as, and I can actually download it as a Word document, a PDF, plain text, however I want to do that. Another way to submit this actually is just to share the website address for this document. And to do that, what you need to do is just click on the share button here. And if I mouse over it, it's telling me that only I have access to this. And that's why there's a little uh, padlock icon there. So if I click on share, what I'm doing is I'm changing the permissions of who can look at this document. So right now it's private. And I'm going to change this to say, anyone with the link is able to view it. So if I want to actually share this and have somebody else um, edit the document, I can change this to edit or I can change this to comment. So I'm just going to leave this as view right now. I just want my instructor to be able to look at my document. So now when I'm done with this, I can hit save and it'll give me this very, very long website address. You can see it's very long. Nobody will ever guess this, so it's pretty secure. So what I can do here is I can just copy this website address. And I've stored that. I can go into my Canvas course. And my instructor has an assignment where I need to submit a document um, by a Google website address. So to submit that, all I would do is hit Submit Assignment. And the default here is I can upload a file, which is um, in the Google Drive system. You can download the PDF or the Word document. This is where you would upload that. What you can also do is click on this website URL, and then that's where I would paste in that really long website address here. And then I can say, here is my Google document. That way, when my instructor goes back to this assignment, they can actually see the document that I've shared with them. And then I hit Submit. And that's how you share a Google document with your instructor.